Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. When I have a hard day making things, I like to relax with a beer. But I need a way to open them, so I thought I'd make a bottle opener. So, let's get started. I have some leftover bits of scaffold board that I use for this project. They give it a nice big chunky industrial look. I didn't want the bottle opener to be as wide as the scaffold board, so I ripped it down first. To make the shape a little more interesting than just a block of wood, I thought I'd add a taper to it. I do have a tapering jig for the table saw, but as I was just cutting one piece, I thought I'd just mark out where I wanted the cuts to go, and then I could take it to the bandsaw. The jig is great if you want to make multiple cuts identical, but the time it takes to set up, I could probably have just done it on the bandsaw. I have some bronze bottle openers I could have just screwed onto this, but I'd seen ones made using washers, so I thought I'd give that a go. You need to drill a hole big enough for the top of a bottle to fit into. I started drilling it at 90 degrees and then at an angle so the cap would fall out after it popped off the bottle. I now drilled another hole that just overlapped the first one slightly and only as deep as the washer I was going to use. I was going to bolt the washer on so I needed to drill a hole for the bolt to go through and then flip it over and on the other side drill a larger hole so the nut was recessed. You could call me lazy, but I love rustic projects, just because I still have to do so much sanding. The washer gets placed in the shallow hole I drilled, then the nut put in. It's a nice tight fit and needed a little tap down. Now we have a way to remove the caps, but they're just going to fall on the floor, so we need a little basket to catch them. So I cut and attached a little shelf to the bottom of it. To catch the beer caps, I mean bottle caps, it won't just be beer, I thought I'd use some wire mesh as it works with the industrial look. It was pretty easy to cut with some snips, but it did leave an edge that was a little sharp. To sort the edge out I thought I'd just bend it over, so I clamped it in the vise and bent over all the way along. Then I could just use a hammer to fold the edge over. The mesh just got held in place with some round head chrome screws. I decided to add no finish to this and just keep it natural. So the last thing was just to add a keyhole plate so I could hang it up. And that's it all done. The beer is for demonstration purposes only. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.